Cobra. Oh, no, that was a weed pipe. No, 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 no. <clears throat> oh, you should see the rest of them. I'll bring them all in there. I made them wood shop. <laughs> This one actually has the paper I put in it when I was 15. That paper was put in there when I was 15 on a trip. This one has the paper in it that I put in there when I was 15. Uh, Mr. Grimaldi was my teacher. And he liked the ideas, but it was so much fine work that he ended up doing a whole lot of it. But, you know, I mean, by the time we got to this guy, I got him pretty good at it. But like he did basically on the whole thing there, but I think bomb. One, two, three, four, five. There were seven of them, I can't find the seven of them. That's what I was doing when I was fifteen. Hmm. I didn't smoke marijuana or anything. I, I just um I think it was my uncle suggested. Um so we have a cool woodshop teacher, a legendary teacher, and uh, Brother Graham at um, Austin Catholic Prep. Before I went, to, before we closed, I went to Bishop Gallagher. He was a legendary woodshop teacher, and uh, he let you do anything, basically. And if you showed any aptitude for it or energy, he was a great teacher. And he'd stay after class and come in the morning. Look at that. Look how good they are. Look at that detail work is fucking. You made those. Poor, poor ass fucking goddamn Detroit kid and Mr. Grimaldi. <laughs> 45 year old ex Marine art teacher in a Catholic school. How old were you when you made these? Hey, look, man, you know, he made a lot of it, okay? He made like 85% of it probably. What year? They were my ideas. And then I would help him once he had drawn them and then cut them. The hard part is all that detail work out cutting that shit and saw you know you know how they whittle and shit. So he was he was he was talented as fuck. I think you know, I could only take ten percent if I had ten percent to do. It. But all the ideas were mine. Hey, we're gonna make a cobra. You know, we're gonna make a Martian. We're gonna make a fire breathing dragon. You know what I mean? What? The fire breathing dragon looks like right a there. looks like a Pokemon. That's a that's a fucking fire breathing dragon. That's how I first described him. See the red tongue? So he's breathing fire. <laughs> Don't you see his red tongue? Huh? That's a fire breathing dragon, fool. You know why it's a fire breathing dragon? Because there aren't fire breathing dragons. It can be whatever I say it is. That's one of the beauty of. Uh, of uh, the make believe, of the pretend. Right? Right. I mean, as a cobra, as cobras look like that, I guess. I mean, I guess your ideal cobra looks like that. I don't know. Hey, what are you guys doing? Come here, Boozy. Come here. What are you doing under there? Come on. Come on under there. Come, come on under there. Come here. Come on. Hey, you can't be get grown up with being in uh, whatever. Kendra? How does she keep leaving? She never leaves. She was, uh, she was moping. There's just boobies in here. Aren't you? She's looking at me like I'm still the dog, right? Yeah, you're still the dog. Come here. This is her favorite thing to do right here. You're not being as, you're not being as, it's just a visitor dog. She's so sensitive, she doesn't even like her, she doesn't even like, even like her sister, Greta. <laughs> Boobsy. There he is. There, there he is. Look, you know what Mm -hmm. She just loves this shit. I haven't met a dog 
always affectionate. That's all right, you're a dog. You can be a social cripple. <laughs> Jacket on me. <laughs> 